Yeah. Griffith mentioned uh, this thing about episodic memory. So, for example, if I said to you, uh, remember uh, these three things, a daisy, a lamp, and a mirror, and then uh, have you repeat it. And then we talk for a long time, another 20 minutes or 10 minutes, and I say, what were those three words? And you could not remember them, okay? That's the kind of test we use for episodic memory. Now, if that's the only problem that you have, and the rest of your thinking is okay, they call it mild cognitive impairment, amnestic subtype. And it turns out that about 10%, 10 to 12% of people who have that each year will go on to develop Alzheimer's disease. Now, the first thing from a physician point of view is when we see people with mild cognitive impairment, any type, is to make certain that we are, can rule out any kind of structural disease or metabolic disease or other diseases that can do that. So it's imperative, if anybody has that, to get brain imaging. The brain imaging will help rule out structural disease. It's imperative also to make sure that there's no vitamin deficiency, that your B12 is okay, that your thiamine is okay, that your folic acid is okay, your vitamin D is okay. Okay, those can be done by blood tests. It's very important to make sure that your thyroid is okay. That can also be another cause. It's also important to make sure that there's no general medical thing, heart failure, kidney failure, any other kind of vital organ failure that does it. And then finally, if you have some risk for communicative disease, either syphilis or AIDS, HIV, they have to be tested because they also cause those problems and they're very, very, very treatable. Now, if based on that they do not find anything, okay, then, as I said, okay, anything that they could treat, then, and not depression, and not a whole bunch of other things, okay, then there is a risk, okay, for you go on to develop Alzheimer's disease. 